In this video, we're going to answer your question, how to clean aquariums. Hey, it's Carlin Haywood from Ross Reefs, a company dedicated to helping individuals and businesses get the most enjoyment out of their aquariums. If you're new to the channel, I cover widely recognized best practices to help all skill levels in the saltwater aquarium hobby achieve success. Let's dive into the topic of this video, which is how to clean aquariums. All right, if you have a dirty aquarium, you'll probably agree that it's not the greatest thing to look at, but more important, it's not a great place for your pets as well. So this video will be geared towards the saltwater hobby, but some principles will also apply for the freshwater systems. So to stay organized, I personally like to break up my cleaning schedule into these three categories. Things that I do daily, things that I can do weekly or bi-weekly, and then things that I do on a quarterly basis. Stick around and at the end of this video, I'll share with you a quick tip that you can add to your maintenance routine to help keep your water quality pristine. Okay, so on a daily basis, I like to clean the inside glass of the aquarium to get rid of any algae buildup. I use a popular tool called the flipper. It has a scrubbing pad side as well as a bladed side. And because I have a glass aquarium, I'm not too worried about scratching the glass. So I generally use the bladed side for most of my cleaning. And what's really great about the flipper is that you can do most of the cleaning without getting your hands wet. You can swap between the two sides while the tool is in the water and you can even get around the corners as well. To clean the outside of the aquarium is pretty straightforward. Any t-shirt will do. Just keep in mind if you're going to use a product like Windex to spray it onto the t-shirt directly, then you can wipe down your tank. On to the weekly or bi-weekly portion of my cleaning schedule. I personally like to do water changes on a weekly basis. Um, a water change is where you take out a percentage of your aquarium's water and replace it with freshly mixed salt water. So on this system, I take out about six to seven gallons of old aquarium water and then replace it with six to seven gallons of freshly mixed salt water. If you need help on learning how to mix salt water, I'll link to my previous video on how to mix salt water for saltwater aquarium. For this small volume water change, I just use a scooper to get the water back into the aquarium. But if it's a larger volume, like 10 gallons or more, I generally use a pump. During water changes, if you run filter socks, this is a great time to swap those out. I keep a few extras on hand that way I can just pop out the old sock, replace it with a fresh one. And then when I'm ready to clean the dirty sock, I just run it under tap water and leave it to dry until my next water change. It's also a good idea to keep an eye on salt deposits on your aquarium. As the water evaporates, salt will be left behind. So just take a cloth and wipe down the area and make sure that it doesn't build up and lead to future problems. So last thing on the weekly checklist is cleaning out the skimmer cups. So your skimmer has been working all week to remove the organics from your water column. So just rinsing in the old aquarium water is a good way to clean out that cup. Now we're getting into the deep cleaning portion of this video, the quarterly preventative maintenance cleans. This is when you'll want to clean your major equipment like pumps, power heads, and skimmers. These items are not cheap and although they will eventually fail at some point, Routine cleanings will keep them running efficiently and longer. So get comfortable disassembling these pieces of equipment. You don't want to go too far and break it down where it will never work again, but just far enough where you can give the components a good scrubbing to remove the buildup. Earlier in the video, I promised to share a quick tip on how to keep your water quality pristine. So here it is. Use activated carbon pellets in your aquariums. I use these little mesh bags and swap out a fresh batch of carbon every three to four weeks with the water change. Why four weeks? Carbon basically loses its effectiveness after that amount of time. So I just use the mesh bag, pour in some fresh pellets, and drop it in my filtration compartment. This will help absorb toxins released by corals and also help with removing any yellow discoloration of the water. If you've enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button to help support the page. And if you'd like to be notified every time I upload new content, hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons as well. And as always, keep doing your research. The legend Bob Marley says, it is better to know than to believe. See you all next time.